Today I'm going to share with you an extremely simple trick to match the colors of a composite just by using gradient maps. So here we have a subject I have already masked it out. Let's create a background for it. So click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose solid color. We're going to choose black right there and simply hit OK. There you have it. Put it under the subject. Nice black background. Now let's bring in a light element. I've actually downloaded it using the infinite texture panel. You can use whatever you want, whatever is your favorite source to download textures and elements. So I'm just going to drag it and drop it into Photoshop. Now this already has a black background. So first of all, let's make it bigger. So let's put the anchor point to this size so that we can make it larger from there. And once you have moved your anchor point there, hold the Alt key or the Option key and just drag from one of the corners. Have a look. It is becoming larger from that point, which is amazing. Now let's move it a little bit to the left hand side. Hit enter or return once you're satisfied with the position. Now we want this on top of the subject as well. So let's bring it and bring it at the very top of the subject. Now we want the black areas to go away and only the bright areas to stay. So what is the blend mode which deletes the black screen, right? So change the blend mode from normal to screen. There you go. Now we want this ring to act as an orbit around the subject. And to be able to do that, we need to erase it from certain areas like the legs, the ball and keep it right in here. So this is the curve that is on the left of the subject. And this is the curve that is on the right of the subject. Therefore, it shouldn't be possible to see it here, here or there. So click on the mask button right in there and then take the brush. You can take a soft round brush if you wish to and then just simply paint black over those areas. Or an easier thing that you can do that if you have the mask of the subject already. So if I open the subject group, I had masked it out. So I can hold the control or command and click on the mask to bring up a selection of the subject. Now once you have brought in a selection, you can come back to the ITP light mask and then with black as the foreground color, easily paint over those areas. It makes our work so much easier. Press Ctrl or Command D to deselect. Now it's time to match the colors of the subject with that of the light. So just above the subject layer, let's create a gradient map. Click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose gradient map. And we only want the gradient map to affect the subject, not the background. So once you have created that, hold the Alt key or the Option key and click on the line between these two layers, the subject and the gradient map. That way it's only applied to the subject. Now we want to sample the gradient map from this existing light, right? First of all, make sure that the gradient map icon is selected, not the mask. All right. Make sure this icon is selected. Double click to open up the properties. Now single click on this bar. Now we will sample this color according to its highlights and as it goes slowly into the dark. So click on the rightmost slider at the bottom and single click on the color. And now Let's pick the brightest yellow that you can pick. You can choose the sample size three by three average and let's zoom in and let's pick this color. This looks nice. Now, I want you to focus on the B, which is the brightness level. What is the brightness level of this color? It's about 99%. So we can put it at about location 100. That's fine. Hit OK. Just make sure that the location is 99 or 100. It's fine. 100 will work. It's very close. Now let's create one more slider right there just by clicking there and single click on the color and let's choose a color next to it. Okay. Or let's go a little further. Just something like this. It's also at brightness 99%. Let's choose a color which is a little further. Okay. This one is at 66%. Hit OK. Now we will have to put the slider at location 66%. Am I making sense now? That's how we will just gradually plot the rest of the colors. So let's create one more slider and see if we can get a darker tone. You can get 59, but that's actually very close. All right, 30 is fine. So let's pick this color, hit OK, and put it at location 30, right? And on the very left, we can choose black, all right? Just make sure this is black. Yes, this is black. This is a nice gradient and have a look at the subject now. It's exactly matching so nicely. Now, once we have put the location, there is no hard and fast rule that you have to abide by it. It's Photoshop. It's art, my friend. So you can actually move it and see what works for you the best. So if I move it a little bit to the left, in my opinion, it works like a charm. You can just 
try moving the other things as well. All right, that works for me, pretty nice. Hit OK. Now, you can leave it at that. This is a nice graphic effect as well. However, if you just want to affect the colors, you can change the blend mode from normal to color. That way, only the colors are being affected. Or you can keep it at normal. I think I like the normal more. So let's decrease the opacity. It was kind of too much. So let's keep it at about 70%. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Now we want to control this color only in the areas where we have more light. Have a look. The light is more on the left hand side and there is very little on the right hand side. So click on the mask of the gradient map, take the brush, black as the foreground color, make the brush a little larger, soft round brush and slowly kind of take it away from the left hand side, right? Also, the left hand side needs to be a little dark. So let's create a curves adjustment layer. Click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose curves. And then we can copy this exact mask in the curves. So hold the Alt key or the Option key, click and drag the mask and drop it to the curves. Replace layer mask? Of course yes. Hit yes. And then we also want to limit the curves to the subject. So with the curves selected right there, click on this button. This will limit the curves. Now let's darken that area. But it's just doing the opposite. Why? Because in this case, we want that area to be affected, not isolated, like we all are in this era of coronavirus. But anyway, so select the mask and press Ctrl or Command I. Now only that area is being darkened. Now let's darken it. There we are. Darken the highlights, darken the midtones, and that looks interesting. Now let's have a look with and without it. So without it, it's bright. It's not making sense because all of the light is coming from the left hand side and there should be not much light there. If I turn it on, it begins to make sense. Now it's time for us to create some extra light. Have a look. Since there is a ring, there should be some light at the bottom of his feet and also a little bit of highlights around the ball and this leg as well. So here's what we do. We create one more curves adjustment layer. Click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose curves. You also want to limit it to the subject. So click on this button and create a point in the middle and take it up. There we are. Okay. Now select the mask, press Ctrl or Command I. Take the brush with lower flow at about, let's change the flow to 10%. Take the brush, white as the foreground color and paint. Let's have a look. Here's the before, here's the after. Makes so much sense. All right. Now let's do the same with the ball as well and this hand. Add it. Now you can also add some here as well. All right. Just a little bit. Here's the before, here's the after make so much difference. Now you can make it even brighter if you wish to and maybe add a little bit of reds by going to the red channel and then adding some reds here and there. All right, there you have it. Now you can also take it away from the dark areas, use the blend if a little bit by double clicking on the right hand side of the layer. Take the slider of the underlying layer from left to right. Now this is very harsh, so hold the Alt key or the Option key, click on the slider to break it apart, break it to make the transition smoother. There you go. This is interesting. Let's zoom out. Here's the before. Here's the after. Just a little bit of lighting makes so much of a difference. So there you go. That's how you can use gradient maps to make such a dramatic change in the colors and match it according to the environment with Photoshop. Let's have a quick look at the before and after. So this is before, not matching at all. And this is after. I hope this video helped you. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to be safe. Wash your hands, stay indoors, and practice a lot of Photoshop. Take care, guys. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you just keep creating.